cut on the wall. They cut on the wall. Were you guys walking slow? We're all going to the same place. You'll give a bro. You're a nerd, dude. I'm not arguing no It's like Harry Potter. Is that, an, is that supposed to be an insult? Yeah, shut the run, run, run. I don't give a fuck. You shouldn't have said shit. Mind your business. You shouldn't have cut everyone. Mind your business. They did it. I got here before you got When you get up, they cut on the wall. They cut. Till then. You're a nerd, bro. I'll never let nobody disrespect my girl. She's a Okay. I don't disrespect you. You're a bitch. Yeah, welcome. You're here. Who are you? I thought you were. I play football at the University of Central Florida, show up. This video is awful and shows how this group conducts themselves, which is deplorable. When a father asks them to watch their language and calm down, they would oblige, but only momentarily. I make money, homie. I'm a businessman, but actually, I'd like to know the family that you cut in front of all of us to be with. Oh, really? Because I was here for They cut on the wall. Yeah. They could sit there and just stop talking to him. When you give people attention, attention is currency. You're done. You're cut off. I ain't talking to you. Last That's words. That's why you keep getting Last words. Insane. He's okay. recording me. I'm gonna record y'all back then. How about that? That's I'm gonna record you back. You wanna record shut you up, Stella. Go the f back and shut the f up. The group would continue mocking, even using an anti-gay slur. One person can be heard gasping at the language they used. Okay. Is recording me because he wants to be famous. So I'm gonna give him his 10 seconds of fame on my Snapchat. What's your at? What's your at? What's your at? What's your at? They'll add you. What's your at? I got clout. So what's your at? I don't know what that means. I'm cute. What's your at? What's your Snapchat? What's a Snapchat? Oh, okay. You're f***ing weird. What are you recording me for? You watch me on Saturdays. You and your family tailgate outside of my stadium. The funniest part is the spoiler we're about to show. I'll talk to men. I'm not gonna talk to females. Bro, don't say to them, bro. They're lame. Look like Harry Potter. Hey, what is this? What is this? You guys. An employee would come up and try to bring it to a halt. Here's the aftermath. So I Googled you, and I gotta be honest. I'm not impressed. This is what you wanted us to see? <laughs> and Stella, I don't know if you're actually his girlfriend, but if I don't talk to females, bro, is not a red flag for you, then maybe him putting his hands on you and throwing you back should be a red flag. People who are actually successful don't need to list off their accomplishments to random people they see at Disneyland in line. In fact, people who are successful don't need to lie about their accomplishments either. I hope this has been embarrassing for you, because you deserve it. But honestly, it's not enough. I'm asking all my followers and everyone who's watching this, please share this video in Central Florida. And let's make sure everyone he knows gets to see it too. As always, that Dinesh guy on TikTok and Instagram did his thing. Please throw him a follow and support his stuff. But... Unfortunately, I got recorded when I was in, I was emotional at the time because these dudes gave racial slurs. As of this time, there is no proof of this. There is, however, a dispute from none other than UCF football's official socials where they simply post the individual in the video on TikTok is not a member of our football team and never has been. Ouch. Oh, and I found his mugshots. Boom, mugshot number one and mugshot number two. One arrest was for driving with a suspended slash revoked license. Did you catch this on TikTok? Then puts this out. And the girl who, okay, now, now let me press on that situation. The girl is Stella, a friend of mine. She's 17 years old. She's 17 years old. They're trying to play the skipping because we walked up to our girlfriend. Because we walked up to our girlfriend. Because we walked up to our girlfriend. Luckily for Quadwo, he lives in Florida, where it's okay for a 23-year-old to date a 17-year-old. In the aftermath, Quadwo disabled comments on his socials. That clout he claims he was giving to the original uploader was to the tune of 3,200 followers. Then a Reddit user by the name of no underscore Sherbert underscore 4253 uncovered the other members of Quadwo's group. He would then try a second time at an apology video. But whether skipping line was true or false, like the supervisor checked on the camera, there's no reason to call somebody a racial slur. I got blackballed because they obviously started recording me after I got emotional. Not emotional, but let my emotions get the best of me, clearly. But my whole thing is just that, whether you believe it or not, I don't think nobody would get just that mad out of nowhere. So, I mean, like, just off based off that simple fact, like, 
No, I'm not going to be sitting there having a yelling match with people if I wasn't called racial slurs. But everybody's value to their opinion. Take it or leave it. This is what he gave us.